Hi folks, how are you today? Nice to see you again. Today, I'm going to sharpen a very basic Japanese uh, kitchen knife. This is called a Santoku Bojo. And uh, my wife, many years ago, Sayuri, she uh, translated that as uh, three virtues, meat, fish, and vegetables. And I think Bon Appetit used that uh, translation a few years later, and I've heard it all over the internet since then. So it's, it's really quite interesting. Um, the Santoku is, is really a very standard knife in Japan. We use this one uh, in our kitchen every day. And this particular one is made of high carbon steel and a mild uh, jigane or a, a, a backing material. Um, it's not a pattern metal knife, but it, it's really very, very nice knife. It's nice to sharpen. It has uh, what's called blue steel, uh, I believe number two in it. Um, you know, I, it, it served us really well. We've probably been using this knife for 20 years anyway, and I've sharpened it many times. So I'm gonna start out today with our um, 100 micron diamond resin. And right now it's dry, and I'm not gonna put any water on it to begin with. So I'm just gonna start out completely dry. Now that we have assessed the knife and looked at it to see that, yes, it's rusted, doesn't really have any uh, bad chips and it's got one there. And the, the tip's a little rounded, but it, it the whole thing is kind of rounded over and um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's seen a lot of use. So we'll put it right down on the diamond resin and I'm gonna thin it on the dry diamond resin stone. And I don't have to do this. I could certainly add a little bit of water and it, it would, you know, give us a little lubrication, but I think I'd like to do this just to show that it's, you know, not a problem. And you can see right away that it is, um, um, you know, just cutting right through and cleaning things up very nicely. I'm gonna move up towards the middle of the knife now. And I'll do up towards the tip. Okay, and look at that. It just, you know, in a few strokes, just cleaned everything out, put very nice, even scratches on there. We'll even go just a few more over the whole length. And then I'll flip it over and we'll do the same thing on the left side. And look at that, it did exactly the same thing on the left side of the knife. A little bit of a stain up here. We'll go ahead and try to clean that stain out of there. And it uh, almost all gone, that's fairly deep. Yeah, I can see there's some Fairly deep scratches on this side, so I'll give it just a little more. Okay, and back to this side. So now what we've done is thinned the knife with our um, 100 micron diamond resin stone. Now I can actually, uh, I think what I'll do now is just joint a little bit. I'm going to pull it. Um, it doesn't skate across the top of the stone quite as well as a ceramic. This, it, it tends to catch a little more in the resin, but once you get it going, it does just fine. You can see I've gotten it All right, we've 
put a flat on the edge all the way along and there should be no more nicks in the edge. A little bit right there. Okay. And now I'll start putting the bevels back on. There we go. And we'll put the bevels back on this side. Now, again, we can do this with just a spritz of water, but I just want to show that it works just fine dry. I think you get a little more bite with the water. Okay, and I think that's the end of the 200 there. We have um, thinned this knife with our 25 micron diamond resin. Now I'm gonna put that aside and I'm gonna take up my 25 micron diamond resin. We'll just drop that right on there. Um, the same as the last video, we're going to um, just keep it dry for today. Um, I'm just gonna put it right up here and start working it just like we did in the previous video, except with the 25, which will take those 100 micron scratches right out. Okay, you can see it just starts to shine and pop really quickly. Okay, and then I'll just do some light strokes to kind of just comb everything out. Looks great. Okay. And now we'll work the bevels. Now I jointed it on the 100. I'm not gonna join it anymore now. I wanna start putting a, uh, an actual edge on. So up at the tip, I'm only gonna use these trailing edge strokes. Sets the um, the bevel angle very nicely. Just these trailing edge strokes. Look at the tip. very lightly on this side. Now we have an edge. Oh boy. Now we have an edge. Look at that. Okay. And I'll from here, I'll just drop right down to 10 microns. Hi folks, I'm back again. We're going to continue along here. Uh, I just finished with the 25 micron, and now we're going to drop down to 10 micron. So I'm going to drop the 10 micron diamond resin on here. And today we're, we're sharpening dry. 
So I'm, I'm not putting any uh, water on here at all. Um, Just using stropping strokes now. And then let's uh, let's work the the core metal, the, the bevel, the main major bevel here. Just take out those scratches from the twenty-five. Good. Okay. Over here to the side. Oh, it's shining right up. It's getting to be a very small scratch. stain it's still there a little bit with diamonds you can you can still you know get away with fixing things later you really can't with ceramics the diamonds do continue to cut now yeah, that's still blasting right through there so let's just give it a few more Dropping strokes here. Just the tip. Just the tip. See how I'm getting the tip and then the rest of the knife. The tip and the rest of the knife. And the tip and the rest of the knife. And now we'll move on to the one micro. Hi folks, we're back for part four. So now I'm gonna continue along with this same knife. We're gonna drop down to one micron. And again, we're just working dry in this series of videos. So I'm not gonna, it looks like there's some, you know, um, uh, powdery stuff here, some slurry that's uh, on there from, I think my one micron, uh, ceramic but i'm not going to bother to to clean that up right now we're, we're just going to get right on it and i'm going to work it dry work the the main core steel here there we go look at that and it is just taking those scratches from the 10 right out and we'll just keep at it and then we'll just tip up here, get the main bevel. Strop. Get the whole thing again. Strop. And then switch over the other side. See how I'm just going across here and working the the tip. Right down. Just kind of dragging the tip across. Get the tip right in there so he doesn't catch. And right down. And this side. Whoa. Now we have a very, very sharp knife. So I think the last step here, I'm gonna drop down to uh, my ceramic, and I will use a little bit of water, which will just put a, a final finish on here. I'm gonna use the ceramic um, NS10K uh, for my last stone as I completely finish up this knife. 
because the ceramic doesn't scratch quite as deeply as even the one micron diamond, even though they're about the same particle size. So I, I think that'll be my, my final stop here. Okay. Hi folks. So I'm back again with part five of this uh, little knife sharpening series. And I'm uh, gonna finish up here with water. I'm um, spraying some water on top of my one micron uh, ceramic and just cleaning it up here with um, my NL6. And you can see this stone's been worked pretty hard stop and show you in just a second there you can see this stone has kind of a hole in the middle and that's pretty typical you know it's, it's not unusual I'm just gonna chamfer the, uh, the ends of my stone here just get this stone cleaned up a bit bit left. Let's go ahead and finish it up. You know, with, when, when you have a hole in the stone and you go to flatten, the end of your flattening tends to take the most time as you got to remove the most material. There we go. There we go. I think we just about got through all that. Clean it up. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's beautiful. Good. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. Okay. Now, I'll grab my knife over here. So we've been, uh, just to repeat, we've been 100 micron, 25 micron, 10 micron, 1 micron, all diamond resin and all dry. Now I'm going to use the wet uh, NS10,000, uh, a 1 micron ceramic, and we've, you know, prepared the stone here, and you can see right away it's it's cutting, and this is gonna leave a little bit different finish. And so I'm only gonna do this one spot to begin with so that you can compare and see what it looks like. Let me see if I can clean that up just enough so you can start to see. Can you see in there? Try to use a little bit different scratch direction and it just softens up everything compared to the, the diamond. Yeah, it's, it's, it's this area here. Okay, let's go a little more. Well, we got some stuff off my hands or whatever. Let's clean it. You can hear it when it goes. Cut, cut, cut. Catches a little bit or whatever's on top of the stone. Let's see if that's a little better. Oh, that's much better. Sounds really good. All right, so now we'll just do the whole thing. Okay. And work that tip. See how I'm working the tip? Same thing here. You 
can see the metal in the slurry there. This, uh, this stone definitely cuts the hard steel nicely. done. And you notice that um, the hard steel and the mild steel and the little hamon or the weld line is quite visible now. Very nice uh, fade from one to the other. So that, um, that ceramic blends everything in really well. All right, folks, I've enjoyed um, sharpening this knife with you. Actually, you know, I think one thing I want to do really quickly just before I go is about to say goodbye. I'm just going to joint it really softly and then fade in to put that final edge on. Almost forgot to do that. Okay. Always thank polite people in Japan. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. As always, uh, uh, follow us on Instagram and YouTube and send me your questions. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Have a great day.